It just felt like there was magic in the room. Everyone really pulled together to try to get every shot and cover every angle that we could. And you don't get that very often. And it felt like a very special day. I felt like myself and the crew and the creators were all trying to just make this number happen in the hours that we had allotted. And it was very special to me. Hi, thank you so much for, for taking the time. Uh, it's, it's great to talk to you about this. Great to talk to you too. Uh, you are so good at playing these characters who seem to have a lot of fun with being like morally flexible, I guess, let's say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that something that that draws you to a role? Okay, all right. I haven't heard the phrase morally flexible yet, but I really enjoy it. Um, I'm going to use that moving forward. That's what's so great about these this these eras of musicals, the 60s and 70s. It was a seismic shift in musical theater uh, where we went darker and sexier and yes, maybe <laughs> more morally flexible. <laughs> I've always been attracted to these musicals. This was the the era of musicals that I started going to see musicals as a young uh, in, uh, a young aspiring performer. Um, so seeing, I saw Chorus Line nine times. I saw Chicago with Gwen and Cheetah, um, and so just wide eyed as a as a young girl watching these shows. So this was really like me loving to get to live in that element um, of the musicals that I were so inspired by growing up as a child, just dreaming of being in this business. And you are playing a version of someone from Chicago. You're doing like kind of the, the, the Billy Flynn thing, which is a role obviously would not typically be cast in. Uh, right. How, how much fun was was it to to get to step into, you know, that, that kind of role? Well, I'm so thankful for what Cinco wrote for me and what he gave for me this season. You know, I open the script and it says, I start talking and uh, the vamp, a vamp, a Chicago-like vamp starts playing while she's talking and walking. I was like, oh, this is what I live for. So <laughs> I was in for all of it. And then to get a number like Bells and Whistles, where I literally get to pull out all the bells and whistles to um, fulfill the number was really fun for me. Yeah, that was uh, the next thing I was going to ask you about, <laughs> because I think that's going to blow people's minds who maybe know you from things like 30 Rock, where you're not doing that, you know? Right. How did that come about? How did you how did you feel as you were going through just the process of filming that? This show combines my all of my loves, right? <laughs> like, I get to rehearse in a rehearsal hall with the great Chris Cotelli and practice dance steps. We get great comedy written on the page by Cinco Paul. We put together my loves of television comedy and musical theater, and that makes Chicago. So this is like my ideal project. Um, I have to say filming Bells and Whistles was one of my favorite days that I filmed in my career. Um, it just was a magical day where you have such a small amount of time to film something. And once we showed the cast and the crew what we had made up in the rehearsal hall and we had such a small amount of time to get everything filmed. It just felt like there was magic in the room. Everyone really pulled together to try to get every shot and cover every angle that we could. And you don't get that very often. And it felt like a very special day. I felt like myself and the crew and the creators were all trying to just make this number happen in the hours that we had allotted. And it was very special to me. This show seems like it's Cinco Paul's baby, but there's so many of you who have such a wealth of experience in theater and in musicals. Is there collaboration behind the scenes? Like, are you are you all throwing out ideas and stuff or just going with, with the vision? It's definitely all there on the page um, and, and so clear and clever and smart with Easter eggs all throughout. Um, but I do think something that makes this show very special is that the performers all do musical theater and Broadway in life as well as portraying those those roles um, in this particular TV show. So there is an element of live performing in every every shot we do and, and every take that we do. I mean, everyone does film their numbers as if we are filming them live in front of an audience, which is pretty incredible. We all sing the vocals live. We all perform, perform it all out live. And everything is shot head to toe, which is really unusual for um, for filming of a TV show or filming of a musical. So that's been very special from the beginning. I think what's really special about our group is the appreciation we all have for being a part of the show and the great support that we all have for each other in the show. I've really not worked with a group of people that are so close 
and brought together to be so supportive and close through their love of this project and musical theater. It's a really special group and um, I'm honored to be um, amongst them and within, in, within their group of, of Broadway folks. We're all very proud to be Cinco <laughs> Paul's troop of players. And I love that we get to change parts every season. <laughs> It's a really fun thing. Well, thank you so much. I think that's that's my time. But All right. um, such a, this series, it's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so on. much. It's so nice to meet you.